ask you, what's the national, what's the national, no, what's the national dish in um, Christina or in Kosovo? So what do you guys normally eat? Like what's the traditional? Well, uh, national, something that uh, everyone eats normally in Kosovo. Pita. Is it? Pia. Yes. Pita, Pia, Pia and Chaboba. Oh, that sounds delicious, yeah? So are you guys students? Yes. Okay, what are you studying? Law. law. Oh, I studied law in Coventry in England. We studied in University of Pristina. Good. You guys look clever. No, thank you. Yeah, you thank do look you clever. very much. Right, um, we're going to make our way to Pristina Town Centre. My ticket is all booked for 6 pm this evening. So that's going to be a lovely journey back. It's so unfortunate that my SIM card is not working. And it's also fortunate that I met a British guy that has told me how to get to um how to get to the town. Apparently it's only 15 minutes walk from here. And and, and basically he explained it very well. It was well explained, so I know how to get there now. Alrighty. So you have um, two options actually. You can either get a taxi, which is five euros, to town, or you can decide to do some cardio and just take a walk to town. It all depends on you. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna make my way to town, see if it's possible to grab a coffee or something, then explore a bit, take a break, probably do a live session if possible, then we can go from there. I'll see you guys very soon. See you in a bit. Okay, people, I'm now approaching Newborn. So Newborn is one of the most visited tourist area. It's not even an area, it's more like a place. So Newborn is a place where a lot of tourists visit in Pristina. So all I need to do now is to walk all the way there to the cathedral, then turn left and I'm in Newborn. Look at the Albanian flag there. I'm sure that's a Kosovo Albanian restaurant. I really like the flag though, it's really nice, isn't it? I suppose there are a lot of Albanians around this area. <laughs> okay, okay, so we're gonna walk towards the cathedral, then obviously find Newborn. And I'll probably take a picture. It's one of those places where you get to and take a picture. Considering... Hi. No, it's okay. <laughs> he was just offering me cigarettes. I only just came to, um, to Kosovo and people are already offering me things like cigarettes. I don't smoke cigarettes. <laughs> That's really nice. No one has ever offered me cigarettes in London. Okay, okay, okay. So let's keep walking. So what can we see? Oh, this looks good. Let's go through this area. Actually, this might be the place I'm meant to turn into. It looks like it. Let's find out. If not, I'll just walk around and go towards that place. But it'll be good to explore this area. I could kind of tell the difference between the Albanians in um, in Macedonia and the Albanians here. It looks like they are more tanned here. Maybe they have much more warmer weather. <laughs> I'm just guessing. But um, the weather is lovely in Kosovo though. Who would have imagined it would be this warm? Okay, so... A lot of people speak English in Kosovo and the ones that don't tend just to smile because that's all they do, they tend to smile. <laughs> so that tells you that um, 
they don't understand the word you're saying actually two people did that today but i was so lucky to find um the british guy who literally told me how to get here but i still needed some help so luckily i found a kosovo guy that told me how to get here right so it's looking more like the central part of Pristina, where we are i wonder what that building is it looks like um, some sort of government building, that one. I think I'm allowed to record that one. And Kosovo doesn't seem like the place that... Oh, okay, so it might be an embassy. Oh, that's the Finnish embassy. Can you see that? So that's reserved for the embassy of Finland. Okay, that makes sense. I could see the Finland, the Finland flag. So that makes a lot of sense. So we're literally around embassy area. And you know what that means. When you're in a place full of embassies, it shows you're in the center. Because a lot of the um, embassies are always in the central part, which makes a lot of sense. In every country you go to, they're normally based in the capital. Hi. They're normally based in the capital. So that's a Turkish restaurant. There are a lot of Turkish people around this region so if you go Kosovo and North Macedonia you'd see a lot of Turkish restaurants and a lot of Turkish workers and students so where I got my kebab from was it was it yesterday or the day yeah yesterday no it wasn't yesterday it was the day before he was Turkish okay so let's keep walking I've got a strong feeling that everything they have in North Macedonia would be here so things like shisha, shisha bars oh that's a nice that's a nice cold bike to be totally honest if I wear a jumper today I'll be fine but I didn't so the guy from Kosovo I met today he said um, I think today tomorrow that's, today's a Wednesday, just for you to know. Tomorrow is a Thursday, and the day after is a Friday. So what he said is, it's public holiday in Kosovo. So a lot of the things are not happening in Pristina. He said it's somewhere else. I can't remember the name of the place. But he said the party is there. And I was like, oh my days, I came too late. But I've totally forgotten the name of the place oh that looks like a nice restaurant um restaurant royal so it's really hard to say kosovo it's really hard to say kosovo is different from macedonia though because things are somewhat similar to be totally honest it's one of them ones where every part in that region are similar. So I suppose South East Europe is similar, I would say. So I'm trying to be careful here because I don't want to walk far away from the place I'm aiming to go to. But I suppose because I'm around the vicinity of the area where I'm trying to go to, I'll be fine. Yeah, there's a lot of restaurants around this area. I might, I might find a place like this and do a live there. That looks like an apartment and a restaurant, so an apartment up there. But that looks nice. I might come there later today. That looks good. The weather is just perfect. So feel free to hang around this area when you come to Kosovo. Kosovo is actually like very metropolitan. It's got that look, it's got that vibe. So guys, um, in terms of the month we're at, it is March, March the 6th. The weather in Kosovo is fantastic which is odd 
I know people I know I know people are going to keep saying oh you're banging on about the weather but the weather is actually good. Hi, how how can I get to Newborn? Just go there. Oh perfect. Thank you. Cheers. Yeah. Oh yeah, so Newborn is there. Okay, so I'm gonna cross the road. Let me cross the um the road using the zebra crossing. Can you see the Albanian flag? Albanian flag, Albanian flag. Yeah, I really like the Albanian flag. Look. Feels like we're in Albania. Hey. Welcome to Mini Albania. Oh, sorry. Welcome to Mini Albania. <laughs> you, you might as well call it Mini Albania, isn't it? Because there's a lot of Albanian flag. Okay, okay. So we are walking towards Newborn. So that's the flag of Hi, you're right. Hello. I'm trying to get to Newborn. Is that is that the yes. place? Yeah. This Perfect. is Newborn. Newborn, yeah. Yes. Cool. Thanks. Yeah, we're making our way to Newborn. When I get there, I'll be newly born. <laughs> okay. I'm hoping I could take some pictures there. Oh, that's newborn. That's it. That's newborn. Fantastic. Yeah, I need to take some pictures. Hopefully, I'm able to take a good one. That's the famous newborn. Also, I'm going to look for the um, for the National Library. That's another tourist bit as well that I need to go to. Oh, that looks very American, actually. I might go there, Route 66. That looks very American. Okay, so that is the famous newborn. Oh, it's so funny. They've got um, graffiti on the newborn. That's not nice. That's not nice. They've got graffiti on the newborn. That's not nice. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'll probably come back and take some pictures. It'll be good for me to show you how newborn looks like. So I could see two restaurants there already, which is nice. A good place to chill, I suppose. In terms of the border crossing, it was quite interesting. So the first um, stop was obviously the North Macedonian border to leave. So they scanned our passports. Then we went through the Kosovo border and they stamped my passport. But the Macedonians don't stamp your passport. All they do, hi. All they do is they scan it because I've got a European passport so they don't stamp it. So bear that in mind when you come around. It's so funny though, when I saw the Kosovo stamp, I was thinking, why the hell don't they stamp passports in North Macedonia? But oh well, it is what it is. But I do like it when they have a stamp. It makes it look official that you've actually been to that place before. Okay, so let's keep gallivanting. I think that's the police station, it looks like. What's that building? Let's find out. Okay, okay, so the gentleman um, there told me that um, the National Library is all the way there. <laughs> so I'm gonna make my way there in a minute. But I thought it would be good to um, capture certain places I've seen. So this is the Pristina Observatory. So what are you observing here? Um, it looks like a tourist place to go to, but um, I'm looking to record as much as possible now that the weather is nice and lovely. Um, there are a number of people there. Oh, that's security. Okay. 
let's make our way towards that area and I suppose we can find out where the National Library is and we can reach some books <laughs> do you think they would have books in um in English <laughs> they might have books in English hey <laughs> I'm saying hello to the police um, okay let's make our way so it feels really busy for a weekday though but I suppose like my Kosovo friend said because it's um, national holidays this week a lot of people might be off work Talking about jaywalking, so you know I told you that um, you can't actually jaywalk in North Macedonia. That's BS. I realized yesterday that you can actually jaywalk because I was doing a lot of jaywalking. I was doing a lot of jaywalking last night. Hi. I was doing a lot of jaywalking and um, I was like, other people, because other people are jaywalking, and I'm thinking, instead of me waiting, I might as well join the locals to jaywalk <laughs> so I was jaywalking all through yesterday in the evening I thought um, North Macedonia was similar to um, to Poland but it's not people jaywalk all day every day but I only just realized that yesterday oh that that looks really good so that's like a mini market they've got the Albanian flag there as well Albanian flags everywhere lovely that's a nice bar lovely bar they've got a lot of bars and restaurants around this area which is good now I'm looking to go to Albania I'm, I'm beginning to love the Albanians so I need to go to Albania what do you reckon I think it'll be good to go T Tirana they call it the capital I need to go to Tirana to meet the Albanians. Okay, okay, so this place looks slightly busy. I'm gonna get a tan today for sure. I've got no sunscreen on. <laughs> and the sun is proper out. I don't know if you can tell from the camera, but the sun is proper out. I can't actually wait to do a live session in this area. Hopefully the place I go to has Wi-Fi as well because my North Macedonian SIM card is not working Although on the internet they said it should work and I was expecting it to work Okay, so you know what we're gonna do? Let's walk. Oh, that's beautiful, but I don't know if you guys can see that that looks good But before we go there Let's explore this bit first then we can do like a turn around So we are literally in the town centre. Where's well, it's a really odd town centre. Oh, they've got free Ukraine. That's lovely. Free Ukraine. I like the way they've done that. That looks good. Oh, look at that lonely dog. There's a lot of dogs in this region though. It feels like when you go to Greece, like there's a lot of cats. But I've noticed in North Macedonia, for example, in Skopje, they've got a lot of um, a lot of cats and a lot of dogs, and they're living happily together. But sometimes they get really pissed off, <laughs> and they start barking at each other, literally. So it's a funny one, though, because <laughs> I remember the restaurant I went to, and they were literally like hassling like the customers. Man, there's a lot of places to go to, mate. Kosovo is a lovely place, you know. I totally recommend Kosovo. Kosovo is lovely. <laughs> I just told a man there, I said Kosovo is lovely. He was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he agreed. Kosovo is lovely. Or oh, they've got a place for cigars. That's nice. I wonder how much their cigars are. That's nice. I drink a great deal, I sleep a little, and I smoke cigar after cigar. That is why I'm into, that's why I'm in 200% form. 
That's Winston Churchill. Okay. I don't know how cheap their cigars would be. I know in Cuba you can get it for a good price. But we're not in Cuba, are we? Okay, so let's keep gallivanting. So this is Pristina in Kosovo. And when you come to um, Kosovo, you would see a lot of Albanian flags and Kosovo flags. So I've got a strong feeling that the population of Albanians in this area is quite significant, considering they have their flags waving. This looks like some sort of like parliamentary area. It's got that vibe, like government looking part of Kosovo. Another Albanian flag there. There's a lot of Albanian flags. Is that a Albanian church? Albanian flag, Kosovo flag. Yes, I love it. I love it. So, I don't know if that's a church, but that looks good. Listen, the guys here are so friendly. It's unbelievable. Like, the welcome I've gotten is crazy. Like, I'm not going to lie though. That also applies to North Macedonia. I feel so safe in this place. I feel North Macedonia is even safer than London and Kosovo is safer than London. I don't know why, but I kind of feel safe. I feel like no one is going to try and nick my camera. <laughs> I feel so safe. I feel like if someone tries to nick it, a Kosovo Albanian will deal with him, literally. Okay. Do you think I should go through there? Okay, so let's keep walking. Hi. Let's see what we have. So we, we will check out this place, then obviously go to the other side. I'm going to start doing that now, the other side, to see what's happening there. It will be good to show you the shops around Pristina. So whenever you come to Pristina, you can visit the area. You can never run out of food or run out of places, sorry, to get food. Because there's a lot of places that has good food. <coughs> I wonder what the um, the national dish is in Kosovo. Does anyone know? Comment. Let me know. What's the national dish in Kosovo? What do people like eating? Hi. What do people like eating in Kosovo? I'm saying it loud so someone can just tell me on the road. <laughs> someone might just shout fish and chips, maybe. Oh, that's a nice place. They sell a lot of trainers. Oh, they've got Gucci as well. A lot of designers around this region. A lot. Okay, let's see what's happening there. There's a lot of good places to hang around here. I'm not going to lie. If there's time, we'll check out the cathedral. But I don't think there's time at the moment, so I'm not going to check it out. But if things change, then maybe. I don't know if my subscribers are into churches and things like that. But I'm planning to go to the Mother Teresa building in Skopje sometime tomorrow. Hopefully the weather in Skopje is as good as this tomorrow. Oh, that's the National Library. Look at the National Library. We're going to go there in a minute. Hi. I was going to ask you, what's the national, what's the national, no, nah, what's the national dish? in um, Pristina or in Kosovo. So what do you guys normally eat? Like what's the traditional? Well, uh, national, something that- uh, Everyone eats normally in Kosovo. Pita. Is it? Pia. Yes. Pita, Pia, Pia and Chaboba. Oh, that sounds <laughs> delicious, yeah? So are you guys students? Yes. Okay, what are you studying? Law. law. Oh, I studied law in Coventry in England. We studied in University of Pristina. Good, you guys look clever. No, oh, thank you. Yeah, you thank do look you clever. Thank you very much. Okay. I'll leave you guys to have a good day whilst yeah. I gallivant and look around. Yeah, yeah? you too. You too. Fun. Yeah, take care, guys. Yeah. Bye. Oh, the ladies are lovely. Same as Macedonia. Hello. Yes. Yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, that's a nice place. Oh my days, that looks good. Looks like they sell all sorts. So guys, I'm sure you heard the ladies there. They did say what the national dish is in Kosovo. Friendly ladies. And they look very clever and beautiful. They are studying law. 
you see very soon they'll be representing me when you lot are trying to annoy me or when you lot are trying to take me to court I'll get them girls to um, to fight for me <laughs> in case I decide to buy a property in Kosovo and you guys are trying to fight me I'm gonna get them girls to fight for me they look really clever okay so maybe maybe we should go all the way there and see Wagwan so we've walked all the way from there to here so let's go back then I'll do a separate or should I just go to the National Library okay let's do the National Library actually let's just do the National Library it wouldn't take long to do that so the National Library is one of the places that most people go to because it's just very unique the most unique library in the world but what I do not know is whether or not the library is actually open. I think it's just one of them ones that people look at. But I'll find out when I get there. For all you know, it is actually open. Okay, so a lot of people are here enjoying the sunshine. <laughs> a lot of lovely smiles. That's the supermarket. A lot of students thinking, what's he doing here? What's his name? What's his channel name? Where is he from? How is he? Does he have a life? <laughs> Does he have a life, you know? <laughs> Hi. That's the National Library. So let's find out if they're interested in books to read. This is a tour of Christina in Kosovo. So we've done a lot actually. We've gone to um, we've gone to Newborn, which you've seen already. We're now approaching the National Library in Kosovo. So for people that keep asking me if Kosovo is safe, trust me, Kosovo is probably safer than your country. That's how safe it is, and I'm being real. Kosovo is probably safer than your country, isn't it? Kosovo is so safe. Yes, bro. I love it. Thank you. So, don't ask me that, because Kosovo is safer than your country. Okay, so, let's see how the library looks like. Oh, I'll, I'll definitely take a picture here today. So, I need to take a picture there, and then also the picture of Newborn then that'll make my day so I'm not sure if there's like an entrance I was gonna ask is that library open can you actually yep. go in yeah that's the entrance oh okay yeah. okay fantastic yeah. thanks so the, the library is actually open I thought it was just one of them ones that you can't Hello, actually hi you okay yeah okay I love your country it's lovely thank you very much where are you from England England yeah everyone keeps asking Which me city? Um, Chelmsford, Essex. Which team play that? There? Yeah, um, this Chelmsford Football Club. But it's like, it's not a big one. Yes, it's yes. small, yeah. Are you from Kosovo? Yes, I'm from okay. Kosovo. Kosovo Albanian? Kosovo Albanian, of course. <laughs> Only Albanian. <laughs> I love your country. Thank you, bro. Nice talking to you. Thank you, bro. Yeah. Much. Yeah, see you later. Okay, so the library is actually open. For some reason, I thought the library is not open. I thought it was just some fancy looking library that no one goes to but obviously I can't go in with my camera because you're meant to be quiet in the library if I decide to talk in the library that would be really bad of me hi ladies um, that would be really bad of me if I do so I'm not going to do that but this is the famous library in Pristina okay let's do a walk around right so this library has some sort of design that I've never seen elsewhere before and it is a functional library so don't think it's there for fashion or it's just there for fun people actually go there and read unfortunately I'm not here to study <laughs> or to read so you wouldn't catch me reading any books today 
the only thing you might the only thing you might catch me doing is taking pictures and recording it that's what you might catch me doing so let's go close to it and see how it is it's quite big though it's a big library and I suppose the way they've done it is really good because that protects people from breaking in I suppose wow that feels good so this is a Kosovo library and also former Yugoslavia innit because all these places were part of Yugoslavia a long time ago so you can also call it a former Yugoslavia library I hope that wouldn't upset anyone okay so time to um, take some pictures maybe um, I'll see you guys in a bit